Good evening and thank you for joining us. It has been a busy weekend for firefighters across the Brazos Valley. Evacuations were briefly ordered in Madison County this afternoon after a fast moving fire got out of control. While the fire impacted an estimated 30 acres at uh, last check, you know, it had been contained. News 3's Donnie Tuggle has the story. A fast moving grass fire threatened several structures near North Zolt Sunday afternoon, prompting a massive response from agencies across the Brazos Valley. Firefighters from multiple agencies battered near 110 degree temperatures to contain the fire. At last check, it scorched 30 acres and was 50% contained. Assisted by air and ground support from the Texas A&M Forest Service, firefighters from Madison, Brazos, and Grimes counties are credited with safeguarding structures and containing the fire. According to the Texas A&M Forest Service incident viewer, there are more than a dozen active wildfires burning across the state. Yesterday, the Forest Service also responded to 16 new requests for assistance on wildfires that burned 256 acres across the state, including the fire in Leon County that burned only three acres due to the quick actions of the Centerville and Leona Fire Departments. And then there's this fire that burned two structures in Brazos County on Old Reliance Road Saturday night. According to authorities, the property owner was taken to a hospital to be checked out but wasn't seriously injured. Donnie Tuggle, News 3. And we are told that the fire in Madison County is now fully contained. Currently 200 out of 254 counties are under a burn ban, including all Brazos Valley counties. 